Libya, a country in North Africa, is known for its vast oil reserves and strategic location on the Mediterranean Sea. It has been a crossroads of cultures and empires for centuries. However, in recent years, Libya has faced political instability and conflict. This turmoil has had a devastating impact on the lives of ordinary Libyans. In 2017, tragedy struck the coastal city of Zuwara, highlighting the fragility of peace and the human cost of conflict. This is the story of the Zuwara explosion, a stark reminder of the challenges faced by Libya and its people. Zuwara is a coastal city located in northwestern Libya. It has a rich history and a diverse population. The city's port plays a crucial role in Libya's economy, serving as a vital hub for trade and transportation. Zuwara's strategic location on the Mediterranean Sea makes it a gateway for goods and people coming to and from Libya. The port is a lifeline for the local community, providing employment opportunities and supporting livelihoods. It is also a vital link to the outside world, connecting Libya to international markets. The port of Zuwara is not just an economic engine, it is the lifeblood of the city. In the early hours of September 4, 2017, the city of Zuwara woke to a day that would forever be etched in its memory. The port, usually bustling with activity, was unusually quiet. Unbeknownst to the people of Zuwara, a tragedy was about to unfold that would shake the city to its core. The events leading up to the explosion remain shrouded in uncertainty. However, what is known is that a fire broke out on a vessel docked at the port. The fire quickly spread, engulfing the ship in flames and sending plumes of thick black smoke billowing into the sky. As the fire raged out of control, a series of explosions ripped through the port, sending shockwaves that could be felt for miles around. The force of the blasts was catastrophic, reducing buildings to rubble and shattering windows in nearby neighbourhoods. The air was thick with smoke, dust and the smell of burning fuel. The explosion caused widespread destruction, turning the once bustling port into a scene of utter devastation. The inferno raged for hours, consuming everything in its path. The sound of sirens filled the air as emergency services rushed to the scene desperately trying to bring the situation under control. Section 5. The Immediate Aftermath – A Race Against Time In the immediate aftermath of the explosion, chaos and confusion reigned. People were running in all directions, unsure of where to go or what to do. The scale of the disaster was overwhelming, with buildings reduced to rubble and smoke filling the air. The injured and the dead were scattered amidst the rubble, making it difficult for rescue workers to navigate the scene. Rescue workers frantically searched for survivors, calling out and listening for any signs of life. Their efforts were hampered by the ongoing fire and the risk of further explosions, which made every moment perilous. Hospitals were quickly overwhelmed with casualties as the injured poured in from all directions. Their resources were stretched to the limit, with medical supplies running low and staff working around the clock. Doctors and nurses worked tirelessly, often going without sleep or food, driven by the urgency of the situation. Battling fatigue and dwindling supplies, they did everything in their power to save as many lives as possible often making difficult decisions on the spot. The city of Zawara was in a state of shock, its residents struggling to come to terms with the sudden and devastating event. Struggling to comprehend the magnitude of the tragedy that had befallen it, the community came together, offering support and solace to one another in this time of need. 
Section 6 International Response A Glimmer of Hope As news of the explosion spread, the international community responded with an outpouring of support. Aid organisations rushed to provide medical assistance, food, water and shelter to those affected by the disaster. Neighbouring countries sent search and rescue teams to assist in the recovery efforts. The explosion in Zuwara served as a stark reminder of the fragility of peace and the importance of international cooperation in times of crisis. It highlighted the need for continued support for Libya as it grapples with the challenges of rebuilding and reconciliation. Section 7 the long road to recovery, scars that remain. This chapter delves into the aftermath of the devastating explosion in Zuwara, a city that has faced unimaginable challenges. The explosion in Zuwara had a profound impact on the city and its people. The blast was not just a momentary event, it was a catastrophe that altered the course of countless lives. The physical damage was extensive, with the port area left in ruins. Buildings were reduced to rubble, and the infrastructure that once supported the city's economy was shattered. The economic consequences were equally severe, as the port, a vital lifeline for the local community, was crippled. Trade came to a standstill, and the livelihoods of many were destroyed. The blast also left behind a legacy of trauma and loss. The emotional and psychological toll on the residents was immense, with many struggling to cope with the memories of that tragic day. Many families lost loved ones in the explosion, while others were left homeless and without livelihoods. The community was torn apart and the sense of security was shattered. The psychological scars of that fateful day continue to haunt the survivors, a constant reminder of the fragility of life. The trauma has left deep emotional wounds that are difficult to heal. Rebuilding Zawara would be a long and arduous journey, one that would require resilience, determination and the support of the international community. The road to recovery is fraught with challenges but the spirit of the people of Zuwara remains unbroken. With collective effort and unwavering resolve, there is hope for a brighter future. Section 8. Rebuilding Lives, Rebuilding Hope In the years since the explosion, the people of Zuwara have shown remarkable strength and resilience as they have worked to rebuild their lives and their city. The port, once a symbol of devastation, is slowly being restored to its former glory, a testament to the indomitable spirit of the human will. The international community has continued to provide support, assisting with reconstruction efforts and providing humanitarian aid. However, the road to recovery is long and Zawara still faces significant challenges. The scars of the past run deep, and the memories of that tragic day continue to linger. Section 9. The Future of Zuwara A Legacy of Resilience The explosion in Zuwara serves as a poignant reminder of the human cost of conflict and the importance of peace and stability. The scars left by the explosion are still visible, but they are overshadowed by the spirit of the people who refuse to be defeated. It is a story of tragedy, resilience, and the power of the human spirit to overcome adversity. The workers at the port embody this spirit, tirelessly working to restore what was lost and build something even stronger. As Zuwara continues on its path to recovery, it carries with it the lessons learned from that fateful day. The community has come together, united by a common goal to rebuild and thrive. 
The city's story is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the importance of hope, even in the face of unimaginable tragedy. Each light that shines at the port is a symbol of the unwavering determination to move forward. The people of Zuwara are determined to build a brighter future for themselves and their children, a future where peace and prosperity prevail. Their journey is far from over, but their resolve is stronger than ever, ensuring that the legacy of resilience will continue for generations.